Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Source ADV. I am Mark Jackson. Today, I'm going to talk about tracking maintenance. Uh, there's a project management software, a free project management software that I've been using to track the maintenance and also kind of the project builds that I do on this channel uh, for the last couple of years. And I figured it's about time to share it with everybody and show you how it's working out. Um, it works great for tracking either kind of the upgrades of a vehicle or even a house or anything. Um, it works great for dirt bikes, motorcycles, cars, trucks, cyber trucks, cyber bikes, whatever it is, you can use this software for it. Um, so I hope it helps you kind of make your projects a lot more organized, but it also helps increase the sale value of whatever it is you're tracking. And I'll show you how. Stay tuned, let's get into it. If you're like me and you're constantly doing projects on bikes, on cars, trucks, whatever, um, tracking the maintenance is really good for a lot of reasons, right? It's good because it keeps you kind of in line on when maintenance is upcoming. Um, but it's also really good because you can pass it on to a buyer and end up, you know, kind of seeming like you actually care for your vehicle. And it goes a long way. So the software is called Trello. And I'm popping into what's called a board uh, right now for my latest project, which is a 2017 Suzuki DRZ 400S kind of mid-budget ultralight adventure build. You can see here that it's just a very simple board tool where you can create what are called cards and then drag them between different columns. So as you can see here, I've got some cards and I've got some labels. Um, and you'll also notice that it tracks which uh, when the miles happened. And so you can see the flow in Trello is essentially you can choose whether you want to go right to left or left to right. Um, but essentially you can create a column in this case, I call it backlog. This is stuff that I want to do in the future. Um, in phase means like if I'm going to start a big sprint on that project, uh, and do a bunch of stuff at once, I'll drag it all over at once and remember what I have to do. Um, it's also good for staging things where, you know, you have to buy a lot of parts, uh, for a larger project over time, but, uh, in phase is kind of like ready to go next. And then in process means you're doing it right now. And there is something really satisfying about dragging a card over to done when you actually finish it. So you can go ahead and you can actually click into some of these cards and you can see, you can add more information if you want. As you can see, this one's a really simple card. I'm relocating the ignition switch on the bike because I've installed new handlebars that make it so that I have to put the ignition switch somewhere else on the bike. You can see here that it's got this custom field with miles. Um, and so I just manually input what the miles are of the bike at that time. The other really cool thing about Trello, let's see if we can find one that has some more stuff in it. There we go, save, right? We can put in, we can put in a description here. You can type whatever you want in the description, uh, you know, which type of brake pads you replaced it with. You can also add comments like, hey, these brake pads, Stink, find another brand, <laughs> right? That's another thing you can do in here and you can save it and you'll notice that it's timestamped. So that's the other thing that's really cool about Trello for tracking maintenance is that when you do pass this board onto the next person, you can just, they can take a look and see when the thing was actually done. Um, I know that's probably not something that people are going to go through and audit and figure out like, oh, what did he, he said he did it two months ago, but it says three months ago here, but it just shows that you were consistent over time. Um, and you can track whatever you want, right? Because you can just add another card here and say air filter, which is something that I did do on the bike, add the card, click on here, and then you can add whatever labels you want. So the, the kind of the basic labels that I like to add are upgrades, routine maintenance and fix. And then sometimes I'll track phases if I, you know, want to kind of design what the next big push on the project is going to be. 
But in this case, this is just a routine maintenance. I swapped out an air filter at 11,285 miles, enter, boom. And now you've got the air filter and I know that's already done. So I'm gonna drag that over here. And you can see down below that Mark Jackson just now moved this from in process to done. So it's good for things, especially if you have like a lot of motorcycles or a lot of truck cars, trucks, whatever. You can also remember when you did something exactly, right? So the last time you did an oil change, right? Oil has to be changed, you know, 3000 miles or whatever the interval is or a period of time. So if you're trying to track a lot of different vehicles at once, this is a really good way to do it too. And I know you can do this in a spreadsheet and all like that, but the really cool thing about Trello on top of everything I'm showing you right now is that it also has a mobile app that you can use while you're in the garage, right? So, and it's, and it's really functional and it works really well, just as well as the computer app does here. So as you can see here, it's got the same column structure that the, uh, the, that the browser app has. And here's my YZ250X project. So pretty darn cool. And the other thing is, so let's go through, you can see, okay, real quick, you can see here that I've got these things. Actually, I'm gonna add this label here. This is part of phase two. I've got these things stacked up in my backlog. You could call this coming up, you know, this doesn't have to be backlog. That's like a project management term. You could theoretically use like upcoming, something like that, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter. Basically the world is your oyster on how you design this. But um, you can see here that I've got kind of my next phase lined out. So I'm gonna probably after this adventure with this motorcycle, go out and buy all this stuff. And then I'll, once I have it all and I'm ready to start working, I'll bring it all over to Enphase and then start chiseling away on the project itself. So let me walk through um, making a new board uh, real quick and then you can be off to the races. All you gotta do is go to trello.com uh, here. As you can see here, I use it for kind of business stuff too. And you can go to boards here. Um, and there's a little plus button up here where you can create a new board. Um, you can also go to boards on the left-hand side and yours is gonna look a little different because you probably don't have any boards, but you can create a board down here too. So let's say you just picked up a new Cybertruck, right? You can then choose what the background is on the board. So let's go with this, oh, cool, there's a car one. We'll go with that one, even though it's a classic muscle car that doesn't make any sense. But uh, we'll go ahead and make a cyber, cyber truck board. So all we gotta do is say upcoming. I like to do like a little arrow to know that it's going left to right, upcoming, in phase, like so, in process. like so, and then done. Sometimes I'd like to put like a couple stars there just to know that like that's the final spot. And you can see it automatically keeps creating columns. We don't need to do that. So once you've done this, um, you can then add your first card. So for the Cybertruck, maybe we'll say something like swap tires. I know this is super basic for right now. We'll add that card. And then we're gonna click in here and I'm gonna create my first label. And you can, um, if, you could check, if you click on create label there, you can also choose a different color. So I like black for upgrades. So this would be an upgrade. There we go. Save it. And then if you want that little mileage um, element Right, you saw on the other board, there was like a way to add mileage or in some cases, right, like hours, whatever. You can add a power up right here and you're gonna to wanna to look for what's called custom fields. I'm gonna add that and there we go. We've reached our limit on that, but you can see here under power ups, it says custom fields. Click on that, add a new field. And in this case, you can choose from checkbox, date, drop down, number, text, um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a number and let's just, let's, let's imagine that the Cybertruck has hours instead of miles and you can click on show field on the front of the card and that will show it. And so we'll add an hours here. This was at five hours of the, of the Cybertruck. I don't even know if that's a thing. And that show 
uh, field on the front of the card basically puts it right there on this. If you uncheck, um, so if we click back on hours and uncheck that, it won't show it on the column structure of the, of the software, right? It'll just show it within the card itself. So I'm gonna go back to custom fields. I like seeing it on the column structure. Click on that again, X out. Um, and you can also add other custom fields. You know, you're not limited to one custom field. So you could theoretically have, um, let's see, like a date. You could say like uh, finished date. If you didn't wanna use just the card activity field, you could say finished. And then you can add a date. It was on that date, save, there you go. So now you have both the hours and the finished. And you have your labels and you could, you can also edit labels right from here. You can add other, other labels. So we'll say like, this is phase one. It's gonna be tires. Um, we'll do another one that says like uh, utility rack, lift kit, um, a generator in case you run out of battery on your cyber truck. I don't know if that's a thing, probably not a thing. There we go. But from there, you can add your labels, upgrades, right? Things like that. Boom, boom. And now you get yourself a maintenance board, right? The other really cool thing is that you can attach things to um, each one of these cards as well. So like, let's say you wanted to attach a picture of, let's say you're doing some like, like for instance, uh, let's go back to, let's go back to the DRZ for instance. If I was gonna say something like a valve servicing, right? I could very easily attach a picture of, I don't know if I have a picture of, what is that? No, nah, I don't have anything we could actually put on there right now, but you could attach a picture of kind of your measurements of the valve shims and show that on here and do your and show, attach, attach a picture of your math to show that the valves were in spec. Um, I like to do that too, just so I can kind of get a baseline on where the valves are, for instance. And when it comes time to sell the vehicle, you can actually, it's actually really enticing for the buyer to see this and see that you've cared for the vehicle, whatever it is. Um, so what you can do after it's time to sell, you're like, hey, and you get this board and I'll show you how to use it. Or you can watch uh, Mark's video on YouTube. Um, but like either way, you can just go to invite and you just invite them with their email address or copy this link right here copy it and send them that link. And now they become a member of the board. And once they're a member of the board, they'll show up as a little picture right here. And then you can change them to the owner and you can choose to leave the board or stay kind of watching the board. All right, thanks for tuning in to Source ADV. I'm Mark Jackson. I've got lots of projects going on. Uh, right now it's a YZ250X dirt bike, uh, a Toyota Tacoma and a uh, Suzuki DRZ400S. Upcoming, I think it's going to be a KTM 500 XCWF or XCFW um, and potentially a Cybertruck. That's why I put that in there. We'll see. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Enjoy the ride.